a heavyweight championship fight between Khabib Nurmagomedov and the Black Beast, Derek Lewis. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. Well, a lot of people think it's the most significant title in combat sports. No argument from me. Baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion. There he is in the flesh. What an absolute monster. What a title reign it has been. But a serious challenge in front of him here tonight. When this man became the heavyweight champion, a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here. We'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Nurmagomedov is 31. Lewis is 35. He weighed in at 260 pounds. He will have a nine inch reach advantage. Now to get us started, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 26 wins, 11 losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 260 pounds. Fighting out of Houston, Texas, presenting the challenger, Derek the Black Beast. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending USC heavyweight champion of the world. UFC belt on the line, guys. Protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your camp.
right, so here we go, round one of this highly anticipated tilt between the strong striker and the decorated grappler. Any chance that these guys mix it up, or are you just expecting them to stick to what got into the dance? I'm expecting a pretty straightforward approach from both of these fighters. The striker will try to lead with his punches and his kicks, and the grappler will try to time a takedown, time a clinch position so he can start to work towards a lot of those great judo throws that he possesses once on the ground, he is in his realm and will start to chase the mission. Huge knee lands in his lane. Really making good use. Oh, no. Punch coming, it's blocked. Wow! Holy smoke! What a sweep! Outstanding work with the ground and pound here by the Black Beast. Big punch land over the top. How's he gonna follow this? just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Nice kick there by Lewis. And that one certainly found the target. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Ooh, now he's got the tie plum, Daniel. If you're on the other side, what are you trying to do to get out of this? Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Right in. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Derek Lewis. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tie clinch. And they separate. Yeah, it looks a little wobbly on his feet. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Secures the takedown. All right, full guard here, DC. What does he need to do to improve position? Well, he's got to start to build his posture, get some damage off, move the half guard, which in turn leads to more opportunities for advancement. But if you're on the bottom, you've got to anticipate those movements the moment he tries to move to the next position. You build a shield, get back to your feet, or dig an underhook to try to get a reversal or a sweep. While well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Nurmagomedov. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. All right, bottom fighter here. Maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Now, the guy's attacking the triangle. He finds himself in trouble because he got a little bit lazy in the full guard. Looks like he's trying to manipulate the head. This could be tight. Watch triangle, watch triangle. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. So the fighter was really caught in the submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. All right, let's check out some of the action, DC, and how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round? He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper, and it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. All right, buckle up. Here we go. Round two. Habib Nurmagomedov. And the inimitable Black Beast, Derek Lewis. Oh, beautiful jab by him there. Really nice little shot for Lewis. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Now goes in and secures the takedown. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. Close guard. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. Got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You got to figure out a way to get back to your feet. Oh, 
man, that left side is getting beat up now. Look at the redness there. All right, side control now. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by the Black Beast. He jumps on a headlock. We call this in wrestling just a headlock. And if you're not careful, you can get stuck in an arm triangle. Watch triangle, watch triangle. There he is. He's moving to the finishing position. Now watch he goes parallel, right? That's through the corner. Getting tighter. Right into side control. Of the body strength figures to be put to good use here. Yes, absolutely. And you got to look for his opponent to turn back into him. He should chase guillotine. But the opponent turns to the opposite side. He can take his back, throw his hooks in, try to show or flatten them out. And just go for the finish. Oh, outstanding combination of ground and pound punches here by Nermago Meadow. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Well, he's got his back now. Thought about a joke, instead flattens him out. And now he's got a lot of options offensively, champ. Yeah, he's got all the options available to him. Now he just has to get all that hip pressure into his opponent's back and just start raining down on ground and pound. And if you're the bottom fighter, better start intelligently defending yourself. All right, let's look back at some of the action DC. A huge round, particularly when it came to that liver strike that really buckled his opponent. It buckled his opponent bad. I'm surprised that the guy's still standing. I don't know exactly what his corner can do to try to bring him back. When you take those types of strikes, you generally don't recover fast. Let's see what they do to try to bring him back. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Big Paul punch land. Now we get back to range. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. All right, both fighters now continuing to try to get a more dominant position. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Lewis gets the tie clinch here. So he's really... Well, no problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. All right, north-south position now. We'll see how he chooses to proceed. Marco Medovs has got full mount now. Under three minutes now to go in round three. I mean, how many can he take? Just reached the midpoint of the fight. I mean, how many can he take? Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. So Lewis's torso, specifically that right side, has absorbed a lot of damage tonight. And here comes the purple, the black, and blue. A definite bruise starting to form on that right side. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Now looking to do something with that left arm. He's isolated. Now he falls back into the finishing position.
Let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic. You are never safe when you're fighting this guy. You're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of trouble the entire time when you're this good in the submissions. So what a moment for the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, getting it done tonight and with style points as he submits his opponent to win the UFC title. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has gone a stop to this contest at three minutes, 44 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by tap out,